A round of applause for Jason, please. Um, so I am here today to talk to you about a tool that I've been using quite a bit lately called StackProf. Uh, StackProf is a sampling profiler, comes from Amon Gupta, uh, who works at GitHub, and it is totally awesome. So I'm going to show you an example. Let's talk about a little story. Um, so somebody gave me this particular little script. So they were having some performance issues. And they had narrowed it down, thankfully, to this case. So we've got this file. It requires some helpers. That's the good Ruby way to do things, because helpers for Ruby are kind of like manager info factory beans for Java, right? <laughs> so you can't not have helpers. And then here's the crux of what happens. It, we've got some work. Then we've got some other work. Then we've got something totally safe. And then we've got this innocuous seeming method at the end of it. And for some reason, this is running really slow. All right, so let's actually demo that. So that was in the dot .lightning file. So if we go run uh, dot .lightning .rb, yeah, yeah, that definitely, that's taken a while. OK, that, I mean, that should be almost instantaneous. So what is going on? Now, I mean, I could go in and I could read the helpers. I could dig into the code. I could make some guesses. But StackProf makes it easy for me to get a real look at exactly what's going on without having to guess. So I'm going to move over a little to a branch where we have um, changed things a little. So what we can do, we install the gem stack prof, we require it, and then we tell it to start. This mode tells it to run in wall clock time. So there's a number of different modes. We'll take a look at another one. Then we do, we do the work that we're actually caring about. And then when we're done, we tell StackProf to stop and then write results to this uh, results file. OK, so let's go see what this looks like now. And we run it. We run it. It's going to take a little while. Don't worry, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. OK, and it said writing out results for me. And if we look, we've got this get results file. Well, StackProf actually installs a command line executable as well that reads that file. So if we say stack prof on get results, we might be able to spot what our problem is. So I mean, ignoring, ignoring the top line for the moment, our totally safe method is taking 97% of the time that we have. And in fact, if we go back and we look in our helpers, we'll see that totally safe was calling a web scale Fibonacci of 38, which is probably a little excessive. You know, there might be better ways for us to do that. So let's just go fix the code right now. We'll do that. That'll be totally. All right. If we run, hey, it's much faster. All right. So everything is good. StackProf saved the day. It showed us exactly what was wrong. Well, so of course, things don't ever quite stay still. Um, you solve one problem, another problem is going to come up. And somebody who was telling us that uh, it's consuming too much memory now. So. This is kind of an interesting, different problem for us. So let's go and look. So StackProf actually provides us with some stuff to be able to look into this, too. So you remember the first time we passed wall time as the mode, now we pass object instead. So let's go run. And writes out our results. It still has our fix, so it's really fast. That's nice. And if we go look at our results, so it tells us up at the top that our mode was object tells us how many samples and garbage collections. And then these numbers are no longer time. These are direct counts of object allocations that occurred while your code is running. Well, it seems like maybe our innocuous singing method might be part of the problem here, since you know all of the thousand objects that we allocate during the entire thing are in that method. So again, just for completeness, let's go look. Helper, where did innocuous, oh, it's in its own file. That's why I didn't see it the first time around. Uh, yeah, OK. That, that probably is not the best thing we can do with that. So you know, I'll That's leave it as an exercise to the reader how maybe you could make this perform better and consume less memory. But I hope you see the point. This is very precise about telling you where these things are happening in your application. And we'll give you a picture that your own guesses in code that's more complicated than this just can't fill in. I have been using this a ton on the Ruby agent to try to find where things are going, and it is a massively useful tool. Um, one caveat, it is Ruby 2.1 and up only. 
So if you're on older rubies or J Ruby, well, you'll just have to find some other toys to play with. Thank you.